I'm mean, out in the cake shop today, as you can see, working on a cake. And I thought while I was out here, I had all this stuff, and I thought I would try another little Pinterest project. I say all this stuff. It's two ingredients, a brownie mix and pumpkin puree. That's it. Um, this has been floating around. I think I might have saved it last year. I'm not sure. Um, so I wanted to see just how well this works. You don't use eggs. You don't use oil. You just use those literally two ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and add cinnamon because we like cinnamon in our brownies. And who doesn't like cinnamon and pumpkin because you know, it tastes like pumpkin pie. So let's see how it's going to work out. Okay. It says to put your two ingredients in your mixing bowl. That was the pumpkin puree. Now I'm going to put the brownie mix and then we're going to give it a little stir mix it together it said mix it until it's smooth I'm going to turn it up once it mixes in I don't want this brownie mixture to go all over the kitchen looks pretty good and that's what it looks like guys just kind of that consistency it said to use a 13 by 9 but I'm gonna use this 7 by 11 just because I want them to be a little bit thicker and it also said to uh, line it and spray it so let me do that right quick and now I'm gonna put the pumpkin um, mixture in pumpkin and brownie mixture in Okay, it's pretty thick, so it just said to smooth it out in the pan. Now that's it. Let's pop it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. All right, guys, that's what it looks like straight out of the oven. Kind of looks a little dry in my opinion, but it smells heavenly. So let's let that cool down completely and then I'll cut them and we'll see how they taste. I apologize for the, the, the bad lighting. Um, it's a little bit later in the day and it's raining. It's terrible. It's just a dreary day. So it's kind of dark in here, but um, I finished the brownies guys and they smell so, so good. Now, this is what they look like. I've been working on a cake, that's why I have gloves on. They're very, very dense. They're even kind of like rubbery feeling like that because I guess they're so dense. But um, let's see what one tastes like. Mm. It's very dense. Um, it's good. I don't taste the pumpkin. Um, obviously, obviously they're better with eggs and oil. And I'm not really sure why you would ever do it like this. I mean, I guess if you were out of eggs and oil and you had a can of pumpkin, you might do this because I mean, the, um, the directions call for three ingredients instead of two, you use eggs and oil and water. I think I don't even remember um and then this is two ingredients so I mean three ingredients two ingredients I don't really see the point but I guess if you're trying to eat healthier um although the the canned pumpkin has 10 carbs per half a cup um so it's a lot of carbs but then there's the sugar and the flour and all that kind of stuff that you have to count you know for the carbs too so this is not something I would ever eat of course on my diet but it's really good. I mean, if you're trying to eat healthier, it is a healthier version of, you know, the brownie, I guess, if you're not wanting to do the eggs, you know, for cholesterol and carbs, not, not carbs, but for the cholesterol, I guess that'd be a good thing. But, um, so it does work. I mean, the pumpkin and the brownie mix does, it makes a good, it might, it smells wonderful. It, it, and it's not bad. It, I mean, it's good. I just kind of don't see the point, you know, um, I don't know. But that's the two uh, ingredient brownies, guys. Pumpkin puree and a, a brownie mix. Thanks for watching. Bye.